Today, I'm going to show you how you can use factor rainbows to find all of the factors for a number. Remember that a factor is a number multiplied to equal a product. We're going to start by finding all of the factors of 12. Okay. I'm going to make 12 at the top of my rainbow. When I start thinking of factors, I start with the number 1 because I know that every number has a factor of 1 times itself. So I know I can say 1 times 12 equals 12. So I'm going to make a rainbow to connect 1 and 12. Next, and I'm going to write a comma here because we use commas to separate the numbers. Next, I would count from 1 to 2. Let me write down 2. And I think to myself, are there any numbers times 2 that equal 12? Hmm. Yes, 2 times 6 equals 12. So I'm going to write a 6 over here. And remember, I'm going to use a comma to separate the digits. I know that 2 times 6 equals 12. So I'll make a rainbow to connect those numbers. I go back over to the left. And with my counting, I count 1, 2. The next number is 3. Is there any number times 3 that equals 12? Yes, 3 times 4 equals 12. So I'll connect those. 3 times 4 equals 12. Now I know that I am done with my factor rainbow because when I start on the left and I'm counting 1, 2, 3, the next number would be 4. But I'm not going to put 4 right here on the left because 4 is already on the right. When I get to a number that's already on the right side of my rainbow, that's when I know that I am finished. So now I can say that all of the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Let's try another one. This time we will try to find all of the factors of 20. First, I know that any number has a factor of 1 and itself, so I'm going to make 1 and 20. And I'm spacing them very far apart because I don't know how many factors are going to be in the middle, and I want to make sure that I've left enough room. So let's connect the rainbow. 1 times 20 equals 20. So I'm counting, and I say 1, 2. And I think, hmm, 2 times what equals 20? Is there anything I can multiply times 2 to equal 20? Yes, 10. So I put my 10, write my comma to separate my digits. And I know that 2 times 10 equals 20. Now I go back to my left side and I do my counting numbers. 1, 2, 3. And I think to myself, is there anything times 3 that equals 20? Well, I know 3 times 10 is 30. That's way too much. But since I know my multiples of 3, I know that 3 times 7 equals 21. That's pretty close but it's not exactly 20. So I go down, 3 times 6 is 18. There's nothing that I can make 3 multiplied by the equal 20. So I know 3 is not a factor of 20, and I'm going to mark it out. I go back to my left, and I'm counting. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I ask myself, is there anything times 4 that equals 20? Yes, 5. 4 times 5 equals 20. So I will connect those with a rainbow. 4 times 5 equals 20. And I also know that's when it's time to stop. I'll put a comma to separate 4 and 5. It's time to stop because when I start on the left and I do my counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would be the next number. And look, there it is already there. So I'm not going to write it another time. So now I've found that all of the factors of 20 
are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20.